Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods, what up, what up? Manners and respect man, and your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more to the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right on over here, special welcome. Thank you so much. Now today, you know I'm telling us we're going to ask straight up to Mother's Day we're going to deal with some of the cutting in so this is another little easy breakfast ideas. Ozzy, I will open up the panda one here. If you thought the cook up one was easy, you're going to see this one. And all of you teenagers who are supposed to be looking but thinking about getting some breakfast ready for Mother's Day, including camera girl behind the camera. Get right in. We're going to do today some sardine fritters. Sardine fritters. So what you're going to want first is some finely chopped ripe tomato, really ripe some green the green part of the scallion if you want to put onion but i don't put any onions and some scotch bonnet pepper if you don't want to put the seeds you don't but the scotch bonnet pepper with that flavor it is a must now the next thing you're gonna need is a tin of sardines of your choice properly drained look at this don't leave the sardine water in at it okay so we are going but first and foremost before you put in the sardine you want to squeeze some lime juice on this sardine. You want to, if you have lemon, if you don't, you use a little apple, like about a teaspoon. Of, don't run for the apple cider vinegar in just a little, a little lime juice. Cause you know the sardine thing up. So you're going to mix up your sardine. You're going to incorporate this sardine, the lime juice into it. And then you're going to pour it right in. I hope you eat now what I'm doing it because this is so easy. Okay? So, you want to do that. Now that you have done that, you want to put a little black pepper. I remember a sardine, a little black pepper. I have here some dried oregano. If you have dried parsley, you can put in. I remember if you're doing more, you know, you, 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 you know once you're doing, if it's up with more mixture, you use more herbs and something, man. So put in like a dry oregano. We want to eat this nice little like taste. So look at what you have now. You have this all pretty, nice, crumbly mixture. Mm? All right. Now you're gonna put in some flour. Any flour except pastry flour. Any flour except pastry flour and self rising. No self rising. No pastry flour. Counter flour. This is what I have. Our all purpose flour. So you're going to put in. You don't want to put in too much flour, you know so this is about like probably a quarter cup of flour but we're not sure yet so what you want to do you want to get the flour i hope you know what i'm doing sardine fritter you know what i know flour fritters you know so okay you're gonna need one egg to do a little binding right here The correct way to do the egg was to crack it in something. You're gonna use a little water at a time. I want to show you how you want to get the mixture. Don't pour in all the water at once. Okay, a little more because it's not this side in fritters. You don't want it becoming too watery. Yeah, this is it. You want to put in a splash of with sister sure we are looking a nice taste to this thing yeah nice little dash of with sister sure remember we're not putting a salt yet you know so the with sister sure has in a little salt so this is how you want it looking this is like a small amount so, but so this is how you want it looking no more running this ear is not the hair for running it is the year for score, scoring goals. So we now go run. We have to put it straight in at the net. So this is what you want. But we don't know of the salt perfection. So we have to taste. And you have taste for the black pepper. And you know you want a little spice in this night. Yes, man. Definitely want a little salt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Salt, the, the, the spiciness is good, but a little salt, definitely, definitely. 
I think that should be good. We have our skillet over here being preheated, medium. So, we are putting the salt. So look at this, this is how pretty you want it. And this is the color. Remember, if you're doing more, you use more of every single thing. Hmm? We have with spiciness, we have all of that. So we have a taste you now that this sauce should be good at the protein. Remember, look at how you want it, you know. It's good. It's good now. Everything come right up now. So you want the oil to be really, really, really hot, but not hot and the I eat. You want it hot and medium. So we're gonna take a little half minute. I'll come back. I wanna come back with more and show you when you drop it in the oil how it must look. Okay, now family, the oil is ready. These, you drop them in spoonful, this size spoonful. You don't drop them bigger. Hmm? So you wanna come, okay, gently put it down. We don't want them to get burned. Eat spoonful at a time, real gently. So you know you carry a container almost over the pot. That in case anything drop in, be careful how you drop in it. Okay, all right. And don't crowd the pot. We're going to use this for a different batch. Okay, we don't want the pot crowded. So and this medium eat, and we are gonna fry. But I'll come back to show you when you are supposed to turn. Okay. Okay, now family, you see they're taking the hedge, you see they're taking the color around here, so we are ready to flip. Try to flip. When you flip, you use your fork and slightly press, or if it is your spatula, you use it and slightly press on the medium heat, okay? So let us turn these. Look at the pretty color that we get in. Let us turn these. So, what we are going to do now. See how easy this is? Remember, you know, when you turn, slightly press with your spatula or whatever you turn with. Just, you know, to make sure it's properly cooked. So, we are going to fry up these. And remember, when you remove them from the from the oil, you double. Or if you have like, if you may not thin, if you may, I'm going cheap, you know. So, but you know you have the thick ones up there. Like, your, you know, the thick good like them. But mine is cheap, so you double me doubling. But if you have the thick ones, I'm going to fry up these. Remove them from the oil, leave them on the paper towel to drain. So when you see your snacks, our fritters will be ready to present to you. Okay now family, look what we have here. We are all finished frying off. Isn't that a beauty? And if you think that one day square up, will type net all caps in the comment section. Now we have to present you know. Don't try to get them this size. This size is like the saltfish fritters. This one went overboard for me. So I just show you. Now. Try to get them this size or a little smaller. But these are like the size. So they are warm and mind you, they look nice, but they are not crunchy. They are not extra crunchy. They are just soft on the inside with a little crunch on the outside because of the egg. Once the egg is in there, you're not gonna get that crocodile like when we do the saltfish fritters. And if you haven't yet seen that video, you need to go check it out. We are gonna leave the link to the Jamaican saltfish fritters because I all kind of bang around them and keep up with the saltfish fritters. Go check out my saltfish fritters video, okay? So we are gonna present. Remember, I'm a matting, you know, and you're going into the room with this, and I'm gonna go in there with no stupidity, you know, you know, because you're taking breakfast to her in bed. Hmm? Yeah. So now that you do that, you 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 know you're supposed to present them. You're just set them properly. What you want to do now, you want to get a few slices of cheese and you're going to put it right over it. Okay? So yeah, go prepare these and put the cheese over it and you're going to get her something to drink too. So as soon as you're finished and you're, you're going to go with the drink, you just pop this in the microwave for about 45 seconds to one minute to let the cheese just get a little bit just a little bit runny start melting over it so there you have it 
from my Jamaican kitchen to wherever you are, to your mother's day table, to your dining room, to your everything, wherever you are. And this can serve anytime before Mother's Day, after Mother's Day. Please do enjoy. You saw it. It is so simple. It is so easy. Remember to like, remember to share, and most of all, to subscribe. When you do subscribe, remember to hit that notification bell. We'll be moving on to like desserts and i have one thing more for you one i'm not going to tell you what it is for the mother's day then we're going to move on to the dessert once more enjoy okay debbie from donga yard bless no stress <laughs>